Coin Ops Next 2, one of my favorite front ends. And here we go. We're going to be checking out Pinball FX2 and Pinball FX3, the Arches unofficial add-on pack. But this is going to be lots of pinball fun. I'm going to go ahead and start with how to install it on your computer. Um, you know, you do have to go on back over some me and grab the files first. I'm not going to be doing that. I'll put a separate video if you need help with that. But um, once you got it installed, you got hundreds of pinball tables to play with. Really fun stuff. Everything from Doom, Star Wars, uh, Marvel, Archer, Jaws, E.T., uh, and more. So let's uh, check it out. All right, let's get down to business. I uh, went ahead and downloaded CoinOps Next standalone. I got all the RARs here. You right click on like the first file here and you should have like a shortcut like this, 7-zip, and I just extracted it here. And then you're gonna get this folder here. So now I'm done extracting, so I can literally delete these now, I'm done. So here's my CoinOps standalone. Let's go ahead and cut this out and bring it back to the main directory here. Okay, there you go. Then we have our CoinOps R3. Let's go ahead and extract this really quick. It shouldn't take very long, it's a small file. Did that finish? Okay, it just finished. And all you wanna do is cut what was in the R3 and add it into your standalone. So I'm gonna paste it into the uh, standalone build. While that's moving, <clears throat> we can go ahead and pinball FX2. Uh, we can just go ahead and we're gonna extract all this stuff into it. So, all right, so R3 was done and then we're gonna go ahead and throw this into here, the FX2. Oh, there's a lot moving still. So we got the R3 moving in there. We got the uh, Pinball FX2 moving in there. Takes a little bit of time here. Yes, you want to replace the files for coin ops um, for the R3 because it's the updated files for all that stuff. I'm actually going to pause this for a second. Usually don't want to multitask. I thought it was done with the R3 already. It trips out. See, there it goes. See how it went from like super slow to super fast. All right, so then we have the FX3 pack, and then we have the FX3 pack. So we're going to add this to users. All right, so that transferred over. We need to transfer over the FX3 pack, everything except install this on your C drive. So we'll go back to standalone and copy that. And while that's working, we do need to do the copy to your C drive stuff. So, so we got the FX3 pack, and we'll go ahead and copy these. Read before copying. Oh, we'll go get that really quick. Install this on your C drive. Uh, okay, yeah. so we just got to get public. So we got our C drive. We have our users. And then paste. All right, so we installed that on our C drive. We dragged and dropped it on our C drive. We installed FX2. We installed R3. We installed the FX3 pack. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, this is in consoles right now. We need to go up to... It might be games for PC. There we go. Let's go Pinball FX2, Pinball FX3. So let's start with two. Make sure that's working. This place is enormous. What are those creatures doing? Maybe that's a good thing? You can't be serious. Ops. All right, so here's all your um, different. You see on the right side there, it's going in alphabetical order. A lot of, a lot of uh, soccer ones. 
Okay, now you got all your marvels. So M, it's just all Marvel for M. So it is kind of uh, starts with the genre, you know, or the collection, and then loops down from there. Pretty cool. Not as like in your face as Coin Coin Ops FX two or three. I don't know. This is special effects. So there's a little missing, little weird file there. Got South Park. Pink Panther. Got your Star Wars. Wow, a lot. I'm going to go back to the top. I knew I went kind of fast in the beginning. All right, back to Aliens. Merrick Dad. Archer. Under the Sea. We got video games, Bob's Burger, Earth Defense, Excalibur, Family Guy, and then you have the soccer tables we're looking at. Very similar, all the soccer ones. And if you hit over, we're going to go to Pinball FX3. Go in. I'm using a keyboard. I easily use a. Screwing around. You know, something else. Or, uh, Look like who a made a speedy recovery. Uh, arcade stick, or, you know, actually have buttons set up. So the, um, the visual Ridiculous. experience is way better as far as browsing the, uh, so as you can see, a lot more detail. Well, then this has been an absolute family guy. It's fun. We go, gentlemen. I like this a lot. It's cool. All the ones that come Scotland, Iron Man. Skill shot. Right. Let's get moving. I am Thor Odinson. Def Unit. Four to one. The Caravan's video. Uh oh. Ridiculous! 
Ridiculous! So there you have it, Arches Pinball FX2 and Pinball FX3 pack for Coin Ops Next 2. And you can add a ton more onto this. As I mentioned, you can add SNES, you can add consoles, you can add arcade packs, you can add Techno Parrot. There's even light gun packs as well. Now the Arches, uh, you know, he's part, if you do want to get these, uh, you can find them on backups.me. I have a little separate video about how to get access to that. But um, these are unofficial coin ops packs, meaning that the, the coin ops team does not back these up. They are not vetted. They don't go through the same process. You know, for the most part, they work though. They just, you know, they just want to let you know that they're not under quality control and use them at your own risk. Now, with me, you know, I feel pretty comfortable using them, and uh, I have no issues whatsoever. Uh, if you're just looking for a plug and play, you can play this stuff now. Like you can go and, and buy this game and play it. Uh, on Steam, so you know maybe that's the route for you. Um, but this is another way of, or you can even buy it and then put it on Coin Ops, right? And then embed it there. I just wanted to showcase these builds. I'll be checking out some other builds as well. But you know, I'm kind of a big pin pinball fan, so I wanted to you know, get, you know, this one seemed exciting for me to play, so that's why I'm making this video. But I'm definitely going to be doing a light gun video shortly, and it's a similar process where you just need that base image of Coin Ops. The standalone, maybe upgrade to the R3 if you want. You don't have to. Um, you could skip that part. Uh, it's recommended though. And uh, you know, add your packs, whatever your packs are. If it's just arcade games, if it's just pinball games, it's that easy. Um, it doesn't require much computing power. Like I said earlier in the video, it's very minimal. Both this game and uh, this game has way more than than Coin Ops itself will run on like an old i5 processor, no problem. So um, I'm digging it. I like it. As you see, like close to 100 tables or more, both in FX2 and FX3. Beautiful way of organizing it. Runs great. Uh, controls work out of the box. And uh, just a little bit of messing around to get it working. And you're, you're rocking and rolling. So all your favorite stuff from, you know, Jaws, Star Wars. I actually played some of the Star Wars ones, and the Star Wars ones are actually really cool. There's some really interesting boards on there. Um, there's even some boards that don't have the gutter on the left and the right, which I was like, that's kind of cool. You know, the gutters always bug me. But, um, you know, there's there's something for everybody in this, uh, in this pack. So I think it's cool. I'm going to check out more of his packs in the future. But that's what I think. Let me know all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you. On the next one. Hurry up, Chief. Daylight's wasting. Pause. Single click my collect main menu.